And now the story you've probably been waiting for, I hope. Many parents wait until their children are three or four years old before even thinking about teaching them to swim. But a program in Miami is enrolling students as young as 10 months. CNN's photojournalist Jerry Simonson takes an underwater look at these amazing aqua babies. Drowning is the second leading cause of unintentional injury-related death among children in this country. Each year about 860 children die and another 2,700 are rushed to hospital emergency rooms. Survival swimming basically entails uh, if a kid fell in the water when his parents were around that they could actually uh, last that extra couple of minutes or whatever it took to actually either save themselves or have somebody else come and save them. What we teach is, uh, they, we teach floating more so than any other aspect of it. And uh, what the kids can do, that's the way that they reinforce air by, by rolling on their back and floating. And that way they're not exerting any energy and then they can always rest there for as long as they need to. Four year old that took lessons with us last year had climbed the pool fence, went in after a ball, fell in, the little brother started screaming for the parents. A minute or two later, I hear them screaming. Luckily, he learned the skills here, and he, when I found him, he was at the pool's edge already. The way our lessons are set up is they're 10 minutes a day, and they're every day, Monday through Friday. Kids learn by repetition and consistency. It's very important for them to do something over and over again, for them to retain the skills that they're being taught. Once the child does these drills a certain amount of times, it becomes a motor reflex for air. So it's not even a thought. If they fall in or if they need air, they don't think about it. It's a motor reflex, and they, they turn on their back and float. Once the kids have obtained the skills that we've been teaching them, uh, they're ready to do clothes. And what we do, we do a, a few different um, scenarios where they fall into the water, and uh, then they you, you know, use their skills to get out of that situation, to roll on their back and float, either swim to the side or swim to the stairs. We, you know, they do full winter, one winter gear with a light jacket, shoes, shirts, long sleeve, you know, pants, everything. Three quarters of the children who died in our study uh, had never received swimming lessons from a certified instructor. On top of kids learning the survival aspect of floating here and, and swimming, it builds their self-esteem, it builds their confidence, it does so much more for them other than just swimming lessons. <laughs> and that's all the time we have for